Hi, my name is Dex from MyConsult and today we had a request on how we can actually manage serial number items in AutoCount. So the first thing that we will need to do is to make sure that you have that module. You can come here to Tools, Program Control, Module Setting. All right? So make sure that this is thick and if you do not have this module, you can actually contact your AutoCount dealer or if you need help from us, you can actually contact our team and they will gladly help you. All right? So once you have that done, you close this screen. So first thing you need to do is come to stock here, stock item maintenance to create an item that has serial number. All right. So you press here, new. All right. So then we can say serial number 001. Okay. Item with serial number. Okay. okay. So first thing or the most important thing that you need to do is you must come here to control by serial number, tick this, alright? Okay, so the rest of the information you can actually key in later and for this example, we just need to key in those information. Once we're done, we just press OK and we close the screen. So now we've got the SN001 serial number item, alright? So let's close this screen and let's do a purchase right now. So we can come here, you can straight away jump to a purchase invoice, click here. Alright, select a supplier as per and then from here we can put in the DO number, the invoice number and then we select the item. So the item is SN001, alright. So what happens is once we put in the quantity, let's say I put 5 quantity, the serial number box will pop up, alright. So users actually have 3 options here to determine how you want to input this information. Option number one is actually using a barcode scanner, scan the serial number, all right? Option number two is if you don't have a serial number already available and you want to use AutoCount to manage that serial number, you can actually come here, you can actually select here, and let's say we put 2022-001 until 2022-005, all right? Okay, and of course, other information that you can key in is like manufacturing date, say okay, today's date, and then maybe the expiry date, maybe two years from now, 2024, June 27, and maybe the last sale date, you can sell this item only one month before the expiry date, so maybe May 1st example, all right? This one option. So, and the third option is, if you have it in Excel, you can actually import in the file, and the serial number will go in. So for this example, we are going to use option number two and where we clean our own serial number and the system will keep track for me. So once we're done, we just press close. All right. And then from here, we can actually put what is the unit price. We say 999 per item. All right. And then once we're done, we just press save. Okay. Okay. So now we already have key in the purchases. How are we going to do a sales invoice with items with serial number? All right, so we come here to sales invoice. Click here. Come, select a customer ABC. We just press plus to create the item. So you can come here. We put SN001 item. So once we select this item, the box will come up. Again, we have the same option. Option number one: if you have a barcode scanner, you can scan it. Option number two is select from the list here. And option number three is actually to import in from an Excel file. Alright, so again, this example, I'm going to use it. So if I want to select based on my existing list, I come here, say, okay, 2022, 002. I want to use this one, add. I want to sell maybe number five. So I select here, I press add. So once I'm done, I just press close. Alright, straight away, the system will determine you have two quantity being sold. I can put in the price, 1500. And then once we're done, we just press save and preview. Okay, so that's it, full text invoice. Right, so this is actually how simple it is to key in the information, the system. So straight away, you can see the serial number appearing at the bottom here, 2022, and 005, alright? So this is actually how easy it is to manage serial number in AutoCount. Do like and subscribe to be notified when we release new guides. Thanks!